Ye powers wha mak mankind your care, and dish them out their daily fare. All Scotland wants nae skinkin wear that jocks and luggies, but if ye want a great foo prayer, gie her a haggis. Crossroads Community Hub. This week we've got Chris who's a head chef. So a couple of weeks ago we put out the haggis sneeps and tatties and that was just your bog standard but it's Burns Night coming up so we thought we'd pull in the head chef and um, get some pro tips and tricks on how to elevate it and really give a restaurant quality um, meal for you this time. So hope you enjoy. Hopefully you can pick up some uh, wee tips and tricks to try and elevate and refine your dish a wee bit more. So there's a few different ways obviously we can cook our haggis, uh, but I am going to put mine in the oven with a little bit of water, half, half covered in the haggis, uh, and a casserole dish with a lid on, and essentially that's, that's just for me to have a perfect temperature in the oven, from the oven. The reason I'm using the shallots is basically, for me, shallots are a wee bit more sweeter and it's not going to give you that raw kind of onion profile that's going to, it's going to overpower the sauce essentially. Veggies the same size, so they're all cooking evenly. Chris, I can see that you're, you're putting turmeric and the, the turnip and the carrots. That's um, something I have not seen before. Is there a reason for that? Turmeric's, turmeric's got loads of health benefits. Good for the digestive system, and inflammatory, antioxidants, that sort of thing. And for me, it's just to brighten up the turmeric as well, uh, the, sorry, the turnip. I'll, I'll give it a nicer colour. Right, so why do you um, set the, the whiskey on fire when you put it in? It's just to burn off the alcohol essentially, that's all. Uh, instead of having that better whiskey taste, it's just, it's just a more of a refined flavour, we'll say. Thank you. 
chips. Why are you um, putting the, the potato chips, the thin potatoes, in the fridge? It will hold the shape of the potato instead of them curling up and things. So the, the wee chips will come out straight now instead of curled up and flat. And, you know, that's, that's so nice. Why are you heating up your, your butter and your cream that's going to go into the mash? Uh, that's just, it's to essentially help bind the potato together. Uh, so if I was to put cold butter and mash into it, the fat content might congeal, it'll firm up instead of evenly contributing to it, but evenly mixing through the potato and it just gives a smoother finish. So you were quite specific there, white pepper over black pepper on the shopping list. <laughs> Why was that? Uh, so for me, black, black pepper through mashed potato could look like uh, burnt bits through your potato. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the white pepper's got a different profile to it as well, flavour profile. And I'm just going to put a wee bit of butter in the carrot. Uh, and turn up mash, and that's just to bind, uh, bind it all together. For all that and all that, it's coming yet for all that, that man to man, the world o'er, will brothers be for all that. Fair for your on a sonsy face, great chieftain o' the puddin race, aboon the ma you'll tack your place, pinch, tripe or thern, will are you worthy o' a grace, as langs my earn. Hopefully you've picked up a couple of wee tricks of the truth, and uh, I look forward to meeting you all and seeing you at Ayrshire Food Hub in your not so distant future. So that was our restaurant quality haggis snakes and tatties with a lovely whiskey sauce. I know that I've picked up some um, great tricks in the trade and there's a clear difference between um, what I've done before and what we've just done there. So hopefully this helps you enjoy Bond's Night and make it a wee bit more special. Thanks.